wanted to talk to you a little bit about what you're facing this season um, with the targeting calls, uh, particularly with um, Amari and just trying to, I, I assume you guys are working in practice every week on, on his tackling technique and, and trying to keep him away from that. Can you just elaborate on what that's, you know, been like over the last several weeks and, 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 you know, your viewpoint on where all of that stands? Yeah. I mean, first off, it's not what I'm dealing with. I think this is all, this is a um, kind of a thing across all of college football right now. You see it in every game. You can, watch a noon game you can watch eight o'clock game you can watch the ones in between and you're seeing it across the board uh, I think there's a conservative effort to make the call um, personally I, I know that we're working really really hard at and always have worked really really hard at targeting in the strike zone you got to understand we're a shoulder leverage tackling team that is aimed at attacking the thigh board of a man um, we've never been a like in our tackling, there is nothing above the waistline, you know, how we teach it, you know, when you talk about the techniques and the hawk tackle and, and the cane tackle. Um, it's definitely been uh, a challenge um, for us and for Amari. I think the last week was a tough one. I mean, uh, I, I remember the young man coming out of St. Thomas that he hit. He's a 5'8 receiver who's a good receiver. He's an 18 class. He's from St. Thomas Aquinas. You know, he catches the ball and he ducks. And I think it's really hard uh, to to officiate for the officials. I think it's hard for us to coach it. You know, when a receiver catches the ball who's 5'8 and then ducks, you know, how, how do you make a human being respond that fast? We could be better. I, I agree. Our head could be up. Our eyes can be higher um, on that play. But you still can't make a human, like, shrink that much and then have another human shrink that much in that quick of time. Um, personally, I <clears throat> definitely feel like, you know, it shouldn't warrant a young man being thrown out if it's not, like, if it's malicious, I understand completely. Like, if he's intending to throw the head or, you know, not trying to target low, uh, I definitely feel like that's a cause for a young man to be, you know, ejected for a game. I don't believe it should be ejected for the game if it's, if a young man's trying. And here's my reasoning, okay? In my personal opinion, not opinion, I know Amari Carter is a good young man. He's not maliciously trying to do that. Two, I don't feel it's fair to take a senior who has a limited amount of time to play football out of a game. Three, add 2020 to it. Everything that these young men have had to do to get onto a football field from, the, from March through the summer, you know, de dealing with COVID, all the different things they've had to sacrifice to, to get on the college football field um, for themselves, for their family, for their for, for college football, for fans. I think it's, in my opinion, I feel like that's not the right thing to do is to take a kid off the field when he's not, you know, he's not doing it, you know, on purpose and taking away a young man's time on the field in 2020 with everything that these college football players have had to go through I think that's very unfair, in my opinion. But the rule's the rule. We're going to continue to try to improve and work at it um, and try to get better at it. Uh, I know it's hard on the officials, uh, 100%. We've talked to them. They know it's hard. They, they don't, you know, they struggle with it too. Um, but I do feel like hopefully in the offseason we can, as coaches, whether I'm an offensive coordinator or defensive coordinator or head coach, we can find a way to try to help this rule uh, make, or make this rule better so that we're not taking away from these kids and all their hard work and their right to play because they put a lot of work in. They sacrificed a lot in 2020. I don't think the right thing to do is take them off the field if they're not intending to do it, bottom line. Thank you. Going back to Amari, just wondering how you get him, you know, to not be fearful, basically, to make a hard tackle now because I could understand him really getting in his head now. It's a great question, Susan. Um, you know, I think you got to, it's like anything. You got to put a lot of emphasis and focus into your technique and trust it to remove the fear of whatever you're doing. And for Amari, it's continuing to stress, you know, attacking as low as we can, even on a 5'7", 5'8", receiver. It doesn't matter. And keeping our eyes up. Um, it's 
not being gun shy. You know, you can't get gun shy. It is what it is. It's the game. It's the situation. Uh, you got to continue to play the game, you know, as hard as you can and, and just, you know, play the cards you're dealt. But we're going to continue to work at it. We worked at it today, again today, um, in terms of striking low. And, and we work on it every day. Um, but, you know, the biggest thing you got to do is have confidence in what we're doing. You know, try to clean up the technique of lifting the head a little bit more. Uh, and then just, you know, keep doing what you're doing. I, like I said, at the end of the day, I hope that we find a way to change the rule a little bit. I know Coach Diaz has talked about it. Um, I'd like to see the emphasis more on offensive players as well. There's a lot of emphasis, in my opinion. I don't think there's enough emphasis of, you know, ball carriers ducking their head into defenders. Um, but I know this, if we're trying to protect the college brain, the human, you know, the college athlete's brain, we got to we got to protect not only the offensive college player's brain, but we got to protect the defensive college player's brain. And they both are equal. And I think if we're going to make an emphasis on defense about it, which I'm all for and agree that it needs to be fixed. And I also think that when ball carriers lower their head, you know, on offense into a defensive player, I think it should be called the same if this is what it's really about. Um, but for Amari, we're going to continue to, to try to work at it and, and practice it and, and, and trust in our technique to remove the fear or the hesitation, Susan.